So I, I went to join the military and then I was qualified to do everything I wanted to do. We were just, you know, doing the last patrol and uh, clearing out dead space and then uh, we were attacked. Uh, the IED blew up like directly in front of me and uh, none of my other soldiers were injured and uh, it, was, uh, it was crazy. Like I remember everything that happened. When I hit the ground, I realized that uh, I was gonna die. So um, immediately when, uh, when these thoughts came on to me, uh, my soldiers got on top of me and they were assuring me that I was gonna be all right. They were bandaging up uh, my legs because I stepped on like, it was like 20 pound IED and uh, it, was, it was catastrophic, it was huge. And uh, they got me out of there. And then I stayed awake until I uh, got to the Kandahar uh, airfield and then they wheeled me in and the doctors were just asking me like, hey, do you remember what happened to you? And I was like, yeah, I got blown up. And I was like, I got, uh, I got injured and uh, it happened like 9.30 in the morning and I was uh, debriefing the, the doctor. And then he was like, okay, well, it's like you don't have a head injury. You're gonna, you're gonna be all right and we're gonna put you out. And I was like, okay, well, put me out. From July 3rd to July 8th, I got back to Walter Reed and uh, 120, 130 surgeries later, here I am. Also, because I'm a non-commissioned officer, it's important for me to lead by example and to show other soldiers that regardless of the situation in which I find myself, I will always strive to be as best as possible. I started swimming first for, for recovery, and um, it was just healing through just uh, physical fitness. And then um, I felt strong enough where I could start riding bikes, and I just dove right into it. And so uh, I, I rode from 2013, was when I started, I believe. And uh, I've, I've done uh, the Chicago Marathon, the New York City Marathon, I've done the Army 10 Miler. I've done some, uh, uh, some freedom rides through uh, Gettysburg, and those are like 50 mile bike rides and uh, it, it's been fantastic. So um, I plan on doing all the marathons next year, which would be great. Well, the truck is, uh, is <laughs> be a blessing in itself uh, just because of the lifestyle that I live. Uh, as soon as I'm able to, because of the surgery, I just, I just had surgery last week. Uh, it's, in the next month or two, I should be up on my prosthetics and just the way how the truck like opens up and moves down, that's gonna be like extremely accessible just for me just to kind of walk up into and the prosthetics turn around and just plop my butt around the seat and then I'll be ready to go. Um, but other than that though, skydiving is what I'm trying to get into as soon as the weather turns over. Uh, I already have it set up where um, I'm gonna start tandem and then do the advanced free fall. Uh, courses and then my goal would someday be to like skydive into like a stadium somewhere but uh, the truck would definitely carry all the equipment that I need like parachute or my scuba diving equipment or if uh, I want to go hunting or something like that because I like to shoot guns and you know stay active and train and do all the stuff I used to do.